Welcome to our video on the problem of derivatives pricing. This video is a follow-up to my introduction to derivatives video, so I recommend if you don't really know that much about derivatives, you watch that video first to get an overview. Um, in this video, I want to talk about why it's so hard to value some of these securities. What are some of the, the difficulties? And this is a pretty basic overview, but it should give you an idea of some of the complexities involved. So let's uh, go back to my original diagram, which illustrates the relationship between the underlying security and the derivative. When the underlying price changes, the price in the underlying security fluctuates, the price of the derivative will change as well. And this change is based on some sort of pre-existing equation. But this actually leads to an important question, which is, how do we quantify the relationship between the underlying and the derivative? We know that there is a relationship. That's what this diagram tells us. But we don't really know what exactly the relationship is. It's some sort of equation, but that equation is often very unclear and opaque. What's more is that the derivative is often not solely tied to the underlying. There can be several underlyings that influence one derivative or maybe a whole bunch of underlyings and some random other factors that are completely unknown. For example, there could be a derivative that's based on the square root of the Slovakian currency multiplied by the, uh, the inverse tangent of uh, the Indian rupee. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, that there's a couple of different underlyings in there and um, a couple of very random and complex equations that uh, I can't think for the life of me why, why they would exist at all. The mathematics can be fascinating, but that's really about it. They don't really serve any, any hedging purposes, any realistic hedging purposes in the market. And this is actually why, back in 2002, Warren Buffett said that derivatives are financial weapons of mass destruction. Because you can structure them in really complex ways with really complex equations that fundamentally make no sense but uh, can, can be used for speculative purposes. And um, when, when you create these derivatives in large quantities and the relationships are very unclear and, and, uh, and difficult to value, then that, that's when things start getting very dangerous and, and we have a credit crisis like we did in 2008 and 2009. So um, I, I hope this video has helped you understand the, the basic problems of derivatives pricing. What, what, is, what is at the root of the issue here. And obviously this isn't going into a whole lot of detail and I'm going to try to address that in some future videos um, when talking about specific derivative instruments. Um, for, to find those videos and, and other is, uh, videos on financial issues, I recommend you visit my website www.canjo.com. Thanks so much for watching.